This video from PoolPlaza.com is about timers and automatic control systems for pools and spas. Most pools and spas from older times, especially those that had just one pump, would use a mechanical timer similar to this one with a single clock face, 24 hour operation that uses small clips to control turning the pump on and off. These timers are still available, but increasingly people are going to automatic electronic controls, most of them digital, many of them attached to computers and other types of personal communication devices to control their pumps and other electronic parts of the pool operation. The purpose of this video is to help the pool owner make a wise decision about whether to install a timer or automatic controls and then what kind. The decision to use a timer rests on many issues. The most important is that it eliminates the need for a pool owner to turn the pump on and off every time it needs to operate or stop operating. Most pool pumps do not need to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. For most pool pumps, six to eight hours per day is sufficient to turn the water in the pool over one time, and that's all a residential pool normally needs. Timers can set the optimum pump running time for the pool and make sure that it operates at the same time and for the same amount of time every day. When you use a timer, you can save electricity by making sure the pump only runs when it needs to. In addition to operating the pump on a daily basis, a timer can also be equipped with a freeze protector for places where freezing weather occurs during the winter. This freeze protector will automatically turn the pump on when there's danger of freezing to prevent the water in the pipes and the equipment from freezing and damaging the equipment. Timers come in either the more simple mechanical type timer that we showed you at the beginning of the video or a wide range of electronic automatic control systems that can be combined with other controls in the home or your personal computer, your iPhone or your iPad. One of the most important things when you're considering a timer is to be sure that you get one that will do everything you need for the particular pool that you have in your yard. The first step is to make an inventory of the equipment and pool functions that are going to be operated by this timer. If you have a very simple pool with a single pump and no other automated equipment, a mechanical timer with a single clock face is probably all that you need. If you have one of the more complex pools that has waterfalls and automatic actuated valves, then you'll need an electronic automated control system. Determine how many functions need to be performed each day. Are you going to operate pumps? Are you going to operate automated control valves? Are you going to operate lights in the pool or lights in the landscaping? All of these things should be considered because you'll need a control system that has the capacity to do all of that at one time. Be sure that when you're selecting a timer or controls that you know what voltage your pool equipment is operating on. A mechanical timer can operate on either 115 volt or 230 volt and most automatic control systems can be wired to either type of voltage. Be sure that if you need freeze protection that's included in the type of timer or control that you get. Some newer equipment requires that it operate with the same brand control system. If you have a control system that is the same brand as your pump and your lights and other equipment, it will operate the way that it was designed to. If you have an older control system and want to upgrade it, be sure that the software can handle all of the functions that you have in your pool. When you're planning for a control system or a timer, if you're planning later on in the future to increase the size of the pool or add other features, be sure to include those in your planning for the system 
so that it will be able to handle the expansion. When you get an automatic control system, determine whether you want just the outdoor control box, whether you also want an indoor panel that you can use to control the system, and whether you need a remote control devices. On some systems you can have all three at one time, on other systems you have to make a choice of one or the other. On automated control systems, it is now possible to get a system that can be used in conjunction with a home security and control system with your personal computer or laptop, with an iPhone or iPad, or other personal communication devices that you use. If you want to do that, be sure that you plan for a system that's got that capability. If you're considering a new timer or control system, or replacing an existing time or a control system and need additional help, you can call us at poolplaza.com at 214-221-6900 or you can email us at info, info at poolplaza.com and we'll be glad to help you make the decision on what you need to use on your pool.